Hi, my name is Chuck Hemeseth, Director of Customer Support at Cambium Networks. On April 3, 2017, Cambium is launching Cambium Care. Cambium Care provides varying levels of service depending on your service needs. On April 3rd, we will be de decommissioning the capability to open trouble tickets via the support at cambiumnetworks.com email address. Opening tickets via the Cambium Support Portal will become one of the primary means of submitting a request. Today, I'm going to give you a brief overview of the process of opening and managing support tickets via the portal. So the first thing you will need is, a, is to register to get access to our Cambium Support Center. So from the support.cambiumnetworks.com webpage, click on the register button in the upper right. From there, you'll be directed to input your email address and click register. Once that's done, you'll be uh, sent an email. There'll be a link in that email which will guide you through the registration process, which will get you a login uh, and password and ultimately access to the support portal. I've already got a login, so I'm going to log in uh, to my account. So once logged into the Cambium Support Center, um, there are two things I want to focus on today, how to open a trouble ticket and how to open a ticket for an RMA. So if you look in the upper right hand corner up by your name, there's a button submit a request. Click on submit a request and you'll be giving uh, a couple options. One is uh, open a technical support request or open an RMA uh, ticket. Let's start with opening a technical support request. Once I click on that, we'll be given a form to fill out um, with various key pieces of information. You're allowed to uh, add email addresses that will be uh, copied to ticket responses and, and various dialogues uh, in the CC box here. Subject line is very important. Um, please be specific in, in the problem you're having. In this particular case, I'm going to say the PMP 450, I'm having problems with the CMM. Um, if you notice, when you type in keywords, it, it pulls up various uh, knowledge base articles that may be of significance to the problem you're having and may even help solve the problem. Uh, there's a whole list of them here. Uh, deploying PMP 450 with CMM looks like something that might solve my problem. It'll take you to that knowledge base article. You can browse it. If it solves your problem, fantastic. If not, uh, we go back and we finish uh, opening the ticket. In the description area, please add uh, any information uh, that is pertinent to, to this particular case, what you've done to, to resolve the issue, what, what you think caused the issue, what the problem is, uh, et cetera. Uh, also, please, in, any additional information is helpful. The next uh, box is network status at the time of the ticket creation. We want to know what you were doing uh, when this problem occurred. In this particular case, uh, I'm going to choose that I added new hardware, and I'm adding a CMM, so I added new Cambium hardware. Next box is, please choose a reason that most closely describes your issue. In this particular case, um, it's an installation issue as I'm doing a new install. And next, I need to specify the Cambium product. In this particular case, it's a point-to-multi-point -point and a point-to-multi-point -point model 450. Product type. Uh, this will narrow down a little bit further. In this particular case, I have to choose between access point or subscriber module. And uh, the fact that I'm interfacing with a CMM, I'm choosing access point. The next two boxes, MSN and ESN, are not critical pieces of information for a trouble ticket. However, it does help us uh, identify part numbers, exactly which uh, model number you're working with. So if you have that information, please provide it. We understand that sometimes uh, these radios and equipment are either at a remote site or up on a tower, and it's difficult to get that information. But if you have it, please provide it. And at the bottom, you're allowed to add additional information uh, if you have that uh, in, in a file form so that you can attach it there. Once all that information is input, hit Submit. <clears throat> Once you hit submit, you're going to be given a synopsis of the ticket on the right-hand side of the screen, as well as uh, the ticket number, 114928, and then a dialog box, which you can add additional emails or add any additional information that you may have forgot to do uh, when you submitted the ticket. Once this ticket number is created, you will be also given an, uh, sent an email 
And from there, you can start the dialogue with the engineer that'll be assigned to this ticket. So that covers opening a trouble ticket request. Now I'm going to cover opening an RMA request. So again, click on the submit a request in the upper right hand uh, portion of the screen. This time, instead of technical support, I'm going to choose RMA ticket. And again, a very similar type form is going to show up. Uh, again, you can add uh, additional people to the emails. Uh, subject line, again, very important, PMP 450. Um, in this case, I'm going to say it does not power up, um, which would be a good case for, a, for an RMA. Again, it's, it's keys off of the words that you put in there, and it pulls up various articles. Uh, you, you may find one that uh, may identify your problem and may even solve your problem. If not, continue with uh, the trouble ticket. Again, uh, any information you have on the description of the problem, please add it in the description box. Purchase date is key. Um, we use this as a gauge uh, to determine how old that product is, and that helps us to determine uh, whether that product may be under the standard warranty or if you have an extended warranty. But in any case, it's not. we still look at the entitlement of the product, but it gives us at least an idea how old the product is. Camium Network's product in this particular case, again, point to multi-point, uh, model 450, and product type, again, uh, access point. Shipping address, uh, please be very specific. Uh, on this as this is where uh, once we complete the repair or provide a replacement, that's where we'll be shipping the product and phone number in case we uh, need to get a hold of you in any, for any reason. So please uh, make sure you fill that information in. Hardware issue category uh, kind of narrows down uh, the type of problems you're having in this particular case, radio will not power up. Uh, the next box, if you have any other additional uh, information on the hardware failure you're experiencing, please add that information. The next two are key for, for an RMA. Uh, for a trouble ticket, I said they were critical but not necessary. In this particular case, we need these two numbers uh, in order to process the RMA. Um, we need to, these, these numbers are key in, in figuring out whether you have uh, these products are under warranty, if you had an extended warranty, whatever the case, but these are. Um, key pieces of information. And again, you're allowed to add a, add a file with other information at the end. Again, hit submit. As like the trouble ticket case, the, the synopsis of the ticket is on the right-hand side. Uh, you're allowed to add additional information in the dialogue portion of the ticket, and you're, and you're given the ticket number, 114929. Now that I've opened two tickets, uh, and now maybe I want to go back and see what the status of those tickets are, take a look at them, see how many tickets I have open. Um, there's a button up here in the top called My Requests. If I click on that, this shows all of the tickets I've opened. And if you notice, the top two tickets uh, were open within the last four minutes. And these are the two tickets. Uh, the, the PMP 450 with CMM was the trouble ticket I opened. And the PMP 450 does not power up. 114929 is the RMA ticket that I uh, open. So if we click on any of these, uh, again, it takes us back to this dialog box. So that's how you check uh, active requests that, that you currently own. After a ticket's open, it'll be handled in accordance with the support program you are using. The ticket priority varies uh, according to whether you have purchased Camium Care Plus or Camium Care Prime or whether you are Camium Care Standard customer. Uh, go to the support section of the Camium website and click on Camium Care for more details on those different packages. Come visit us on our support portal for opening tickets and other useful information at support.camiumnetworks.com. Thank you and have a good day.